Okay, this is the next in this series of quick dry suit repairs. So I've just been on a dive, got a bit of a wet leg just below the knee, so assume there's a bit of a leak in my suit, so I'm going to show you how to pressure test a dry suit. So the first thing you need is a bucket of soapy water, just ordinary washing up liquid and some water, and something to bung up the cuff seals on the neck uh, seal with. Okay, so this is where I use, this is a yogurt container just with expanding foam in to make it solid and this was as you can see a plant pot again with expanding foam and now I'll put these in the wrist seals and I'll put this in the neck seal okay so as you can see we've got the yogurt pots down through the cuffs so they're nicely sealed I've got the plant pot through the neck seal now the trick is to wrap some PVC tape around the neck seal and the trick is you've got to do it with the sticky side out uh, you don't want the sticky side to actually stick to the latex neck seal because when you come to take it off sometimes you can tear it so a couple of times round back to front um, and I'll do that now right so you can see the tape is now on so the sticky side is out right next thing to do is that you have to seal the shoulder dump and this one's also got a uh, cuff dump as well so we need to seal them both off Easiest way of doing this is with a latex glove. Stick the latex glove on it and then tape over the top of the latex glove to make a nice tight seal. Okay, so you see the latex glove there and the tape around, a couple of bits over, make a nice tight seal. And I've done the same as well on the actual cuff dump. Okay, now it's time to close up the zip and attach your direct feed. Um, I run mine simply off the compressor, but it's um, if you've got your regulators, then you can simply run it off a dive and cylinder to blow the suit up. Okay, so the suit, as you can see, is now blown up. Now what we need to do is to cover the whole of the suit in soapy water and look to see if there's any bubbles. Okay, so now as I'm blowing the suit up, if we have a look, and here's the leak. <sighs> On that seam there. Okay, so it looks like we found one little leak here. See the air bubbles coming out? That'll need to be fixed. Not the leak I was looking for though, I don't think. Zip's good. Other side's looking good. Nothing leaking on the suit, the legs, the crutch. Nope. Okay, let's turn it over, look at the other side. Okay, so that's the only leak I've found on the suit. Okay, so as a final check, what you do is rinse it all off with water, and then any final little holes will appear as little bubbles. So when the foam is all washed off, this is the sort of thing you'll be able to see when there's a leak, as the air pumps out. Okay, I've also found a very, very small leak there on the cuff seal. This is the leak from before because I've now turned the suit over so you can see it bubbling away nicely. But other than that, no other leaks on this suit that I can find. Okay, so that's a press test complete. So we found a couple of small leaks that need to be repaired. When I open the zip, all the air will come out and that let me remove my two yogurt containers and my plant pot. Um, and remember to take the tape off from the valves, otherwise, Give her a nasty surprise when you can't dump next time you dive. And that's it, and thanks for watching.